Hello friends, it's time for some Australian stories. Woo! These are all ones that we have read in my classes and are up for consideration for a performance this uh, semester. So um, this spring sometime, we haven't set a date um, as of yet. We have to figure out how to do all that safely and what makes sense for us, probably April. But we welcome you hearing these stories as well. It's a reminder to my students of the ones that we have already heard and it's also a an introduction maybe for you for these awesome stories. Now what's great about these and exciting is that we read these last semester before the holidays, before the winter break and when we came back last week several of my students talked to me about how they got these books for Christmas. They liked them so much that they asked their parents to get them for Christmas or they must have talked about them so much maybe that Santa Claus heard and brought them to him. Who knows? But someone gave them some of these books and I'm excited to bring them to you. So first book is going to be Diary of a Wombat and it's by Jackie French and a wombat is an animal that is found on the continent of Australia and also in some zoos. So I have seen one here in the Fort Worth Zoo, which is an award-winning zoo. If you've never been to Fort Worth, maybe come just for the zoo. Or, you know, come because you know that I live here and not that you'll see me. There are you know, lots and lots and lots of people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and Fort Worth is a big old city, so you probably will not run into me. However, you can find the zoo. And I do live about 10 minutes from the zoo, so maybe I'll drive by. Who knows when you are there. Okay, so Diary of a Wombat. I'm a wombat. I live in Australia. As you can see from my picture, I look a little like a bear, but smaller. I live in a hole in the ground. I come out mostly at night, and during the day, I sleep. I eat grass and roots, and of course, the occasional treat. Here is our wombat. He does look a little bit like a bear, right? Try and get that glare off of him. There you go. A little like a tiny bear. Monday. Morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass. Scratched. Night, ate grass. Slept. First day of the diary. These are all the things he did all day. Or she will find out. Tuesday, morning, slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, ate grass. Night, ate grass. Decided grass is boring. Scratched. Hard to reach the itchy bits. Slept. So here's Tuesday, day in the life of the wombat. Wednesday, morning, slept. Afternoon, mild, cloudy day. I have new neighbors. Humans found the perfect dust bath. So here's the beginning of the day. Oh, and here are the new neighbors. And here is the dust bath. See if you can figure out what it is that the wombat is using for the dust bath. Hmm. Discovered flat, hairy creature invading my territory. Fought major battle with the flat, hairy creature. One battle. Neighbors should be pleased. Demanded a reward. So here is the creature that Wombat is fighting with. Huge battle. And here is battle one. And here we are demanding a reward. Silly wombat. Received a carrot. It was delicious. Evening. Demanded more carrots. Here's wombat eating the reward. So good. Hmm. Sitting outside the door going, carrots for me, please. Chewed hole in a door. 
then you can kind of hear in the background, for Pete's sake, give her some carrots. Eight carrots, scratched, went to sleep. So, whole chewed indoor bad wombat, carrots given, and sleepy. <laughs> Thursday, morning slept. Afternoon, discovered the perfect scratching post. Evening, demanded carrots. No response. Tried yesterday's hole. Curiously resistant to my paws. So there you are, looking at that scratching post. That doesn't look like a scratching post. Guess it did to Wombat. Asked for more carrots. No one's answering. Hmm, look there, I wonder why the hole is resistant to the paws. I bet you can figure that out. Banged on large metal object till carrots appeared. Eight carrots. Began new hole in soft dirt. Went to sleep. So there's the large metal object that she banged upon. Got lots and lots of carrots for that, right? And found a place to dig. I'm thinking maybe that's not the best place to dig. And sleeping. Well, that's a big day for a wombat. Friday, morning slept. Afternoon, discovered new scratching post. Also discovered a new source of carrots. So there is the scratching post for the day. Oh no, bad idea. And found a new source of carrots. Where do you think he found those? Oh my stars. Probably not where they wanted them to. Evening, someone has filled in my new hole. Soon dug it out again. Night, worked on hole. So somebody filled that in because it was in the garden. Oh my goodness, digging it out again. And all night, worked on that hole. Looks like a good hole. Saturday, morning, moved into new hole. Afternoon, rained. New hole filled up with water. Moved back into old hole. Evening, discovered even more carrots. Never knew there were so many carrots in the world. Carrots, delicious. Night. Finished carrots, slept. And I don't know if you can see that, so I'm gonna bring it pretty close. Look at the source of the rain. I wonder if you can see, is it really raining or is it not really raining? And oh my, found some carrots. Where does it look like? Found the carrots. Oh my goodness. Sunday, morning slept. Afternoon, slept. Evening, slept. Night, was offered carrots at the back door. Decided carrots are boring. Chewed a few things, didn't like any of them. Demanded something other than carrots. Received bowl of oats, eight oats. So yeah, carrots, there they are. Tired of carrots, so boring, so boring. I'm gonna chew some other things and see. Oh, it looks like a boot and a box and some other stuff. And got a bowl of oats this wombat. Monday, morning, slept. Afternoon, felt energetic. Wet things flapped against my nose on the way to the back door. Got rid of them. Demanded oats and carrots. Only had to bang large metal object for a short period before they appeared. Here's our day. I don't know about you, but I think the humans may be getting tired of our wombat. That's what I think. Evening. Have decided that humans are easily trained and make quite good pets. Night. Dug new hole to be closer to them. Slept. And yes, we are easily trained. And look how wonderful they are that we dug a new hole in an awesome place right there under their house. What? I don't think there's a wombat under my house, but I don't live in Australia. Oh, and that, my friends, is the end of Diary of a Wombat. What an awesome book. I hope you enjoyed it, and look for the next in the Australia series very soon.